but you know, and then that's what I try to do. Yeah. I just try to live Jesus and yeah. um, and just love kids. I mean, that's yeah. that's really that's really what I want to do is is just love kids yeah. on a daily basis. How do you do that? Like, how do you how do you love on your kids? How do you love on your students? Well. Back in the old days, you know, pre-COVID, <laughs> when, when you, you know, the old days in the classroom, um, I, and I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to do this here in this new era of teaching. You know, we're trailblazers right now heading into this new era. But I just, I establish relationships with them. Uh, I try to find common ground. Uh, I try to stay relevant with a lot of things, you know, whether it's social media, you know, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, things like that. Uh, some things that I may not 100% agree with, but at least I know I'm speaking their language when I'm familiar with it. Or if I throw a goofy TikTok out there and the kids see me, this you know 48-year-old teacher who can't dance and certainly has no rhythm, but at least he's trying. You know, it makes a connection to him. Is TikTok still around? Like, has that been canceled yet? I don't know if it's been canceled. I haven't looked okay. at my TikTok right. in a while, yeah. and I haven't heard my daughter screaming and crying that it's been taken away. Okay. So I'm, I think the Microsoft deal is still being negotiated right, or something. Yeah. But, but you know. Maintaining relevance, taking time to listen, and just talking to kids, uh, and letting them know that I'm there for them. I mean, even simple gestures, which I've got to figure out how to do this, but uh, I met—I just met with a young man uh, for coffee, and one of the reasons we have coffee together is because back when I had him, he would come into my room and have coffee with me, right? And I would have a snack there, and then we'd sit there and shoot the breeze, and we would talk about anything and everything, uh, and then he took my class and, and, you know, he worked really, really hard in the class and did really, really well. Uh, but, you know, I established this relationship and here it is a couple years after he's graduated, we're still continuing that relationship. Uh, and it's because I want the kids to know that I care about them okay. and that I love them and that I have an open door policy, mm -hmm. a little history phrase there for yeah. you as a history teacher, yeah. but I have this open door policy that you can come into my room in real life or even virtually now, you know, shoot me a Google Meet message and say, hey, let's meet up on Google Meet so we can talk and, uh, and, and uh, you know, just let them know that I'm there for them and I'm their advocate. Uh, and as a result, I think the love of Christ shines through. Yeah. And I've had, you know, kids, you know, all come back and ask, you know, why, you know, tell me about Jesus or can you pray for me? I don't know if I believe in prayer, but, yeah. you know, can you pray for me? Things like that or... Uh, when kids are going through some really, really difficult times, they're knocking on my door. And, it, and it's because of the love of Christ. It's because of the work that he's doing in me that I'm able to, to uh, do a good work in what I'm doing. And, of course, I have my bad days, too, but, you know.